this one it's kind of neat uh, this is an image or web camera scrapbook that contains links to your favorite webcams like this is uh, a webcam from the top of a tall tower that's in the city of Tampere you can basically drag and drop web links to this application and, and then adjust the update interval for each of these web cameras that has been stored here and you can create new tabs and, and drag, drag more of these cameras here uh, this application can also contain static images like an, or, or get uh, anything that any image that is accessible via a URL such as a stock graph or something like that and what else have we now well, there is the classic asteroids game it's kind of slow I basically have to move all the other time here it makes the game much faster it's going to start well, now to start timers. But anyway, I need to go back to that, but I don't need to go back to that. Was it other applications? Well, we have a classical Google Maps application also here, uh, which contains various points of interest stored here, like this is the city of Menlo Park in, in California. You can view the map in hybrid or satellite modes. You can pick uh, arbitrary locations if you choose the question mark here. It basically shows you the specific address in that location. You make it bigger so you can actually see it, see it better. And the application can also talk to uh, other services like Panoramio or Wikipedia to get information associated with the location that you're currently viewing. And this is coming into web-based no more, no more Google Maps service users. Mm, what else? Well, we have a few more thing, things here. This is a Flickr application. Basically, goes and gets images from Flickr based on the tags that you type. Like, for instance, if I say something like "motor cycles" and then press enter, it'll take a while because it gets the feed. From Flickr, and then it starts getting images. that shows you. Well, that's interesting. Now I actually got a bug, so you saw the debugger showing up. That's part of another demo, actually. Let me let me put the debugger view here. So that's the QT. QT script debugger that shows up if you have any any problems in your application. So you can actually single step set breakpoints and debug your application in a conventional way. Well, it's probably telling me that the application doesn't necessarily work as expected. But let's try. We'll type in city name of Tampere and then it will automatically show us all the webcams that we can find near that place. And if I go near those images, it'll show me an enlarged image of each webcam and the specific location using this minimap map here. And now we have quite a lot of stuff here simultaneously. So I think I'm going to stop soon. I think we showed most of the other things. These other apps are fairly simple and straightforward, like you can create these digital clock instances. And as usual they follow the same principles. So if you wish to and a lot of things, uh, things work the expected way and the font scale in between and so on and so on. Anyway, uh, that gives you an overview of the applications right now. And if you want to try out the system yourself, here's the URL. Uh, you can just download the system from there and you need to install the Qt system first. But once you have that running in your target platform, lively for Qt basically runs on anywhere where you have the QT system available.